guys, welcome to this video. My name is Moyo and you're so welcome to She Bites. How are you doing? So this is going to be our first um, episode in our Christmas in Nigeria series. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make pottage. Now, if you know West African, I think the best way for me to describe a pottage for you is that it is a one pot wonder. You just cook so many things in the same pot. You can add meat, it's starches, it's vegetables, usually palm oil, tomato sauce, a lot of things go into this and it's so beautiful and so delicious. So don't worry, if you don't know what it is, you're going to see me making it in this video. And today I'm going to show you how to make it two ways. I'm showing you how to make plantain pottage and cocoa yam pottage. You can also make yam pottage the same way I make cocoa yam pottage, but I just do not have yams. <laughs> and um, the plantain pottage, try and use more ripe plantains. Some people like to make unripe plantain pottage, but I really like the sweet and spicy that you get, the sweet and spicy combination that you get when you make um, ripe plantain pottage, but then try not to cook the plantains too much so they don't get too mushy. Kokoyam pottage is also really simple and I really love like the kokoyams and when you peel them they get like red and they have like a really interesting taste but these ones are the white ones. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, I hope you share it with your family and friends and I hope you try it out this Christmas and New Year. Thank you for watching guys. Bye! Starting off with our sweet and spicy, nice, thick and yummy and delicious and super easy plantain pottage. So we're going to be using two semi-ripe plantains. If you have riper ones, even better. Also a cup of palm oil, oil, a tablespoon of vegetable oil, spices like bay leaf, rosemary or thyme, stock cube, chili flakes, pepper. We're using one chili pepper. We're using some onions, garlic and ginger. And then we're also using some boiled meats, kidney liver. You can add chaki and pomo if you like. So to start off, we're going to roast, like heat up some of our spices in the oil. So I'm starting with my bay leaf and rosemary make sure you do not let your spices burn then you can add in all your chopped vegetables your onions garlic ginger and um chilies this step is not all that necessary but i found that it adds so much more flavor to your dish as you're also able to sear the meat so next thing i'm adding in my boiled meat and then my liver and kidney to sear for a little while then i'm adding in all my seasoning salt pepper stock cube chili flakes black pepper what you just add whatever you're into next we're going to add in our plantains at this point make sure you're stirring the pot really well because you haven't added in your water yet and you don't want anything to stick next you're going to add in enough water to just cover the plantains do not add too much water because you're not going to know how to get rid of it so just add enough if you need more you can add more but do not add too much the water doesn't really go anywhere <laughs> especially if you cook it in a covered pot so next you're going to leave this to cook until your plantains are easy soft enough to break with your spoon but not too soft yet so you're going to see you can break them with your spoon yeah but they're not too mushy yet then we're going to add in our palm oil then after adding in our palm oil you're just going to cook until you get the right consistency of plantains until they get a bit more mushy and um until your plantain pottage is thick enough when you're sort of getting to the point that you want the next thing we're going to do is start to mash up a few of our plantains and this is what really gives a pottage a pottage a thick pottage consistency we do this with yam do this with cocoa yam as well mash up a few of them taste for seasoning and then just cook until you have the right consistency as we have here this dish doesn't take that long to cook at all and it is super super like delicious guys i don't even know how to explain the smell is beautiful it's a perfect combination of sweet and spicy because plantains are both starchy and sweet and if you like spice then definitely go for it if you don't you can reduce it next we're going to be making cocoyam pottage not many people use cocoyams in their kitchen but honestly it is the best today we're going to be using about 500 grams of cocoyam quarter cup of palm oil onion um, red chilies and then we're just using some salt pepper and rosemary or thyme as you can see these are cocoa yams so we're going to start off by peeling them and putting them into some water so they can be a bit annoying to peel because they are small but don't let that discourage you I'm just showing you how I peel them here and it was super easy then just cut them into small chunks and put them into some water then you're going to have to rinse your cocoa yam a little bit to get rid of any extra dirt and then we're going to start boiling it with our chopped onions and chilies. I know you might be thinking, hmm, why are you boiling onions? But I can't explain to you that this, it just makes a beautiful combination. Like your onions get really soft and it's not as if you have these big boiled onions in there. It's really nice. So then going with your seasoning, I also added about three tablespoons of blended pepper, 
um, that's bell pepper and chili pepper. You don't have to add this, but I was making um, some effort. That's vegetable soup as well, so I had some extra, so I added it in. It definitely adds some extra flavor and extra color. As we did before, when you cook yam, it's easy, it's soft enough to break. Then you can pour in your palm oil and mix it all together. And then now you're also going to cook until you have the right consistency. Another warning is at the beginning, do not add too much water. Just add enough water to cover your cooker yam or you're going to be left with too much water at the end. So yet yeah, now you can mash up some of your cooker yam pieces to give you that real potted texture. Next, you can also add in some green leaves. Here I'm using green, like green amaranth leaves. Um, it's optional. If you like it, add some in. I also like to say thank you so much to my friend Tonya because she's the one who actually gave me the idea of making cookie yam potage. In my house, we always eat yam potage, but we don't really eat cookie yam potage. So I said, let me try it out, and it was so beautiful. Cookie yams also have a bit of a stringy texture, which is also a different. It's a bit different from yam. Check for seasoning also at this point. Add any extra if you need any extra, and serve it up. This just looks so beautiful, guys. I cannot even explain how amazing the kitchen smelled when this was ready. I cannot just wait to dig in. So, yes, as I said, these are one pot wonders. Serve them as they are with themselves and enjoy your Christmas, guys. Have a lovely Christmas and a very, very, very lovely New Year. God bless, and I hope you try this out in your own kitchen this Christmas. Love you so much. Bye.